Sandy Charles with Fan Rag Sports, joined by our very own prospect writer, Bobby Jamiro. Bobby, I know you're excited about this question. Here at AFL, which guy, who's really flying under the radar? Ooh, this is tough. I mean, there's 50 guys you could put here. For me, it's a personal guy, though. Uh, I covered him in Bakersfield this summer in the California League in the Mariner system. Tyler Marlette. The fact that he's here to me is, is just exciting. And he's one of those guys, because of his backstory, that you see him out here and you can't help but kind of be proud. I think he's really flying under the radar. What is, kind of tell us a little, what is his backstory? Why should we root for him as well? He, he is a guy, very high round draft pick by the Mariners, I think in 2013, a couple years ago. Maybe even before that, actually, now that I think about it. But he's a guy who, I mean, struggled for the first two months in Bakersfield, hitting 200, striking out all the time, made a big change at the plate, and just immediately caught fire, and not for a week, for three months. Went to double A, hit very well in double A, came here, hitting well here, and it's cool when you cover a guy, you know how it is. Yeah. You don't really care about teams, you're not a fan of teams, not rooting for anybody, mm -hmm. but when you cover a guy all summer, and then you see him succeed, and then you see him put on the big league uniform out on this field, <laughs> even if it's just the AFL, yeah. it's, it's a feel-good feeling to be like, I saw that guy guy grinded out in Bakersfield which is the toughest place to play in all of professional baseball and now he's here that's he's a feel-good guy and I think he's got a pretty legitimate future with Seattle do you know exactly what it was at the plate that he kind of changed he was he's a he's a big swinger <laughs> um, he's got crazy good bat speed but he's a very aggressive swinger and he kind of honed that in um, it sounds funny a lot of guys try to promote bat speed and try to be more aggressive and he had to rein it back a little bit started getting his front foot down earlier started kind of controlling his swing a little more made it a little more sustainable I guess you would say mm -hmm. and caught fire and I think you're gonna see him as a potential maybe kind of a special hitting catcher I don't know if he's an everyday catcher and we'll kind of see how that goes but he's definitely a hitting catcher they're trying to first base a little bit to get his bat in the lineup and we'll see he's still young still got time so thank you so much Bobby